Well, from a um, security perspective, there's many, many different angles or perspectives that you can take into security of uh, crypto exchanges. So if you look at like how crypto exchanges operate in general is um, is an access gateway uh, between different parties where um, transactions are passed from one, one way to another. And then, then again, exchanges may have access to fiat currencies as well for those people who have invested into cryptocurrency. So um, it's a kind of a middle player role in that sense. And um, security of crypto exchanges is not a simple matter to assess for an end user. Um, if I'm looking at from our listeners' view, from a user perspective, I would probably consider different factors like do they offer support for me? Do they do the, do they offer me security instructions, basic features like two-factor authentication? How about different kinds of know your customer or anti-money laundering practices? if the operator or the exchange in question has strong practice around these areas then it's a sign that okay this may be a company that you can trust one thing that the exchanges don't openly discuss usually is how how they operate and secure their wallets mainly the hot and cold wallets or somewhere in between um, so from user perspective i would look at that user facing um, practice how well the exchange tries to secure the investor funds and assets. I think it's a wider question about responsibility in corporate level. Um, we do have a responsibility, you know, the, to protect the investors and protect whomever tries to use the service. So, yes, yeah, so Pepsi, thank you so much for your time today. I am aware that we are running into the 30 minute, ar around the 30 minute mark. Um, thank you for your insights and sharing, you know, some of the similarities uh, from a threat perspective uh, between the traditional and the uh, crypto world. Again, thank you very much for your time today. Thanks, Jane. It's been my privilege.